Zeke's Place, where the past and present meet. Gold was discovered in an area of the valley known as Poverty Gulch when a cow hand named Bob Womack found it while moving cattle. Bob made his claim and the Cripple Creek Gold Rush was on. Womack was known for his drinking and womanizing, and he sold his claim for $500 and a case of whiskey. At its peak, the Gold District had a population of 150,000 people. The district boasted 15 newspapers, three opera houses, two streetcars, 49 grocery stores, 150 saloons, 19 schools, two hospitals, 17 churches, an amusement park, and a zoo. Despite the usual conception of an old prospector and his donkey panning for gold, gold was never panned in the Cripple Creek District. It was removed by hard rock mining techniques and later by strip mining. The district's first millionaire was Winfield Scott Stratton. Before making his fortune in gold, Stratton had never earned more than $3 a day. For a whole year now, I've waited since last. A winter storm made it impossible for me to carry out my plan. But it didn't stop me from trying. Since then, I've been torn by divinity, raging the war between good and evil inside my head. A decision had to be made. And tonight is the night to make it. What's that, Earl? I lost you. I'll say you did. You all right? It's March 4th. I'm thinking of going back. You think he's gonna try something out there? I hope not. Sure he will. He's possessed. By what, witches put some kind of voodoo in his soul or something? Devils, gods, spells of love? I don't know. He's just plain old possessed. I agree. So do I. That's why tonight I'm going back to the cemetery to have a look at things. And I'd be less than thrilled to have to go alone, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sure, Marshal. Sherman and I'll go with you. The hell we will. Oh. Yeah, I suppose we will, Marshal. Thanks. Emma, another round for the road. Thank you, Clarence. She was everything to me. 
And more than I'll ever know.